All right, so this video is going to show you how to track social media traffic to your website using Google Analytics. And why do we want to do this? First of all, Google Analytics is a way to measure activity on your website, how long people stay, where they come from, what pages they enter, what pages they exit, and even things like what are they using to access your site, a mobile device, a browser, that type of thing. Okay, so when we have a website, you know, there are many ways that we're going to be promoting our website um, by email, certainly, and people are going to perhaps find your website in a search engine and people are going to type in the URL to your website because they already know you, right? Uh, but obviously another way to do it is to use social media. And so you're going to share articles from your website on Facebook and on Twitter and perhaps Google Plus and, and other websites, all right? So this video is really meant to show you how to track the traffic coming back from those efforts. All right. So the first thing you do is obviously you log into Google Analytics. If you haven't created a Google Analytics account, all you have to do is Google, Google Analytics, and then just sign up. It's free. So this is DonHayden.com, which we just saw a few seconds ago. And we have a whole bunch of information here in Google Analytics. I'm not going to go into you know how to use Google Analytics. Obviously, you can Google a video about that if you want to. Um, this video is really intended to show you how to track the social media traffic. All right. So the first thing you do is you want to see, you know, what are the top sources of social media anyhow to our site. Okay. And the way that you do that is you go under traffic sources. Under traffic sources, you'll see referrals. Okay. So social media is a, is a form of referral traffic. Okay. And automatically it's going to rank from high to low, all right, in terms of the number of visits. Uh, so we have Facebook here, obviously. This is Twitter. T.co is Twitter's shortener. Uh, and then we also have uh, mobile, Facebook mobile. So this is telling us, okay, great. I want to start at least with Facebook, Twitter, and maybe Google Plus. Okay. The way to set these up is to use advanced segments. When you use advanced segments, it allows you to track a specific segment of traffic in any report throughout Google Analytics. All right. So I'll show you how to make that right now. Uh, you click on advanced segments, a new window opens up, and then you select new custom segment. In the name field, we're going to just say, you know, traffic from Facebook. Okay. And what we do is we want to include source. All right, we're going to select source from this drop down menu. Source containing, we want to say containing. We don't want to say exact match or anything like that. Okay, we just want to say containing because we're going to put facebook.com. Because again, the URL from Facebook will actually be very, very different for each link. All right, so we're just going to say containing facebook.com. We're going to add an or statement. All right. And in this one, we're going to select source as well. Okay. And what we do here is we say m.facebook.com. All right. The reason why is because Facebook has a mobile site that a lot of people are using to access your website. Okay. And then we click on save segment. And then we're done. Okay. So we can see even from our, if we look at our overview report, We can see, because we have this advanced segment applied to all the traffic, it's showing us, you know, what were the, what were the peaks throughout a 30-day period from Facebook. Then we can go back and ask ourselves, geez, what did we do on Facebook on this day to actually cause this result, all right? So that's Facebook. Now let's add another one. Let's add Twitter. Click on advanced segments. Click on new custom segment. Again, we're going to name it. Include source containing obviously twitter.com or t.co remember this one um, you might also want to add bitly bit.ly but just make sure that you're only using it for twitter if you're only using bitly for twitter which is what i recommend all right so i'm just going to save this segment Traffic from Facebook, traffic from Twitter. We can see how they compare. I'm going to add one more Google Plus. I'm just going to deselect these guys for now. New custom segment. We will say source plus 
url.google.com. Make sure we name it. Okay, and then we see, you know, if we compare the three of these, traffic from Facebook, traffic from Twitter, traffic from Google+. Plus. Okay, and what you can do is I will just deselect these for now. Apply. And the last thing I'll show you is that you can apply any of these advanced segments to any report. Okay, so if we look at landing pages, okay, and then we can take an advanced segment like Twitter and apply that. And this will tell us 1.2% of total entrances come from Twitter. So that is how to measure social media traffic with Google Analytics.